Dr. Leo, we have some very, very sad news. What's that? Paul Rubens, best known as Pee Wee Herman, died at 70 years old. And yes, we are going to his funeral now since Cade shared memories with his son Sky L and Tito yesterday. Nah, ah. I'm not going to his funeral. I want to stay home and play Nick Jr. face numbers, Raven Pinball, and Eddie's Vision Expedition on Google Chrome on my computer. Dr. Leo, I'm so sorry. You have to come with us to the funeral because of what we just heard. Uck, okay then, if that's what you want. Paul Rubens, the actor and comedian whose Pee Wee Herman character, an overgrown child with a tight gray suit and an unforgettable laugh, became a 1980s pop cultural phenomenon, has died at 70. Rubens, whose character delighted fans in the film Pee Wee's Big Adventure and on the TV series Pee Wee's Playhouse, died Sunday night after a six-year struggle with cancer that he kept private, his publicist said in a statement. Please accept my apology for not going public with what I've been facing the last six years, Rubens said in a statement released Monday with the announcement of his death. I have always felt a huge amount of love and respect from my friends, fans and supporters. I have loved you all so much and enjoyed making art for you. Created for the stage, Pee Wee with his white chunky loafers and red bow tie would become a cultural constant in both adult and children's entertainment for much of the 1980s, though an indecent exposure arrest in 1991 would send the character into entertainment exile for years. Here is something for people to say about him, listen carefully. My name is Stripe Healer, Barbara Streisand's brother and Pee Wee Herman's brother. The staccato giggle that punctuated every sentence, catch phrases like, I know you are but what am I, and a tabletop dance to the champ song, Tequila, in a biker bar in, Pee Wee's Big Adventure, were often imitated by fans, to the joy of some and the annoyance of others. My name is Trixie Healer, a fan of Pee Wee Herman. Rubens created Pee Wee when he was part of the Los Angeles improv group The Groundlings in the late 1970s. The live, Pee Wee Herman show, debuted at a Los Angeles theater in 1981 and was a success with both kids during matinees and adults at a midnight show. My name is Muffin Cupcake Healer. The show closely resembled the format the Saturday morning TV, Pee Wee's Playhouse, would follow years later, with Herman living in a wild and wacky home with a series of stock character visitors, including one, Captain Carl, played by the late Saturday Night Live star Phil Hartman. However, HBO would air the show as a special. My name is Sox Healer. Rubens took Pee Wee to the big screen with 1985's Pee Wee's Big Adventure, which takes the character outside for a nationwide escapade. The film, in which Pee Wee's cherished bike is stolen, was said to be loosely based on Vittorio De Sica's Italian neorealist classic, The Bicycle Thief. Directed by Tim Burton and co-written by Hartman, the movie was a success, grossing $40 million, and continued to spawn a cult following for its oddball whimsy. No, 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 and guess what else? No. Pee-wee's Playhouse, Pee-wee's Big Adventure, and Pee-wee Herman himself all suck. Here are things that I hate about his death from cancer in general. The look on the carrot's face as the rabbit's slippers go near it. Pee-wee strains to lift ten pounds. His clothes change after he goes down the fire pole. In order for his breakfast machine to work, he would have to set everything up the night before, which would take hours. He's literally a 98-pound weakling. The music, obviously. The ceiling shot was filmed by dropping pancakes on a floor set, and the footage reversed to get the effect. His horoscope telling him don't go outside today, and him immediately discarding it, if he doesn't follow the advice, why does he take them to begin with? The forced perspective shot of Specs Bowl. 
All of the props and 1950s slash vintage props in the background. And Mr. T's cereal, which was really a thing and that was one of the actual catchphrases. Rot in peace Paul Rubens, and I freaking hate Pee Wee's Big Adventure and Pee Wee's Playhouse in the first place. Get lost Pee Wee Herman, because you freaking suck. Dr. Leo, these are extremely, critically, horrific, and explicit things to say about Pee Wee Herman. That is so it. We are going home right now. Jeez Louise Dr. Leo. Words cannot describe how angry you are during Pee Wee Herman's funeral. Now people are starting a Pee Wee Herman headed as thanks to you. That's it. You are grounded 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 until Tails win the Las Vegas Raiders fan 5000 starts up. Please stop doing bad things in the future, along with Triton and your chubby chickens of yours. Go to your room right now and leave us alone for the next couple months. God damn it son of a bitch piece of shit motherfucking asshole fuck fuck fuck. Yeah! And watch with the sewer mouth of yours, you crazy whiny brat. This is the last Dr. Leo Gets Grounded episode before the switch to Tails Land the Las Vegas Raiders fan 5000 as Tails Landian Gardens and Elysian Siemens isn't making any money at all. Darren Pipster and friends will also be on the new channel as well when the series is ready to restart. Thanks for watching this video and I, 2DCH Hodges, hope to see you again soon.